It's been a minute since I've done one of these solo mining episodes, but truth be told, I've not really been able to play a whole lot of EVE lately, but um, things are progressing pretty good. I figured I'd give it like an update and uh, kind of give everybody an idea of the direction and kind of timeline on uh, just kind of progressing this mining character. But this is the uh, the first E video that I've done since I built uh, my new computer. And <clears throat> I'll have to say it's the high frames per second and everything is very enjoyable. It uh, definitely a big quality of life increase for me. But we're getting pretty close to the point where I'm ready to kind of go Omega with this tune. And one of the biggest goals in some of the things I've been working on while I've been kind of farming up that currency is just to kind of position myself where we can immediately start working on mining barge skills. We won't be in the procure um, immediately after getting Omega, but the point is to just kind of keep grinding, keep pushing, and just scale our overall yield and, and everything and then kind of branch out for the most part. We put a lot of hours in with this venture, which has been really enjoyable. Usually I'm out doing more high risk, high reward things, which you know, I think everybody who plays Eve essentially gets to that point. And it's kind of nice to just take a step back to where it all kind of started, which is a lot of what this series is for me. But probably in the next few days, I'll get Omega on this character and immediately start working on procure stuff once we get the procure up and running we'll continue to pretty much mine like we've been doing but at just a higher rate and a higher yield and we'll look at getting some implants and kind of branching out a little bit further away from Jita. and then we'll probably end up getting into like the retriever before we make the jump to exhumer but once we get into the procurer, we'll essentially have the skills to do retriever. So we might have both that we can use depending on the situation that we're kind of in. But and once we get the mining bars thing kind of figured out, we'll be going and training on the skills for Exumer and things like that. I don't think I'm going to try to do command ship on this tune. I would like to have like a porpoise or like an orca, but I think I want to kind of just go down the mining barge and the uh, Exumer route. So we'll be doing a lot of things in terms of let me get these guys targeted back up we'll do things like with the procure and with the retriever the skiff the mac and all and the uh and pretty much we might actually get into expeditionary frigates which is something i kind of want to do um and we actually might prioritize expeditionary frigates first before exhumers because I think that would be a very interesting thing to take into like wormhole space and we'll have the option to have gas mining, ice mining on those uh, really fast ships. A lot of what I've been doing in EVE lately has been at the frigate level. I really just kind of enjoyed the uh, the nimbleness of the smaller ships. It's just when you're doing abyssals and things like that. I spent so long doing bigger battleships and capitals and it's nice to just kind of have something that is yeah like light and nimble for the most part but i'm really loving the uh the performance of the new computer with everything actually let me pull up i'm gonna pull up my uh pull up my stats here so you guys can see what kind of performance i'm getting i uh i can essentially run all six of my accounts uh <laughs> at really high frames but as you can see here we're doing this is max quality too so this is what my quality looks like high ultra and everything all that good stuff so actually I'll restart this benchmark so yeah about 182 <laughs> getting about 170 frames per second in Eve obviously Eve's not like a really graphic intensive game but it just um, the CPU that I get, ended up getting with this new computer has just been by and far just amazing for kind of things that I do anyway and Eve is really CPU intensive for the most part but even for this uh, 13th gen i9 processor it's not really even sweating a whole lot but we're uh we're doing pretty good 
but still doing Veldspar mining, as you can tell. And the reason I do Veldspar mining is because I um, sell to a person directly. So I, I have a higher incentive to do Veldspar mining. So I don't really focus on much else. I, I saw a lot of comments talking about, like, why would you go for Veldspar as opposed to, like, Plag or, like, Kernite or something that has higher per unit value. And it really comes down to the weight of everything. So if I'm going to go out to a certain spot and I'm going to mine, I want to put as much value in the ore hold as possible when I fill up. Even though like Kernite or Plague or these things are worth more per unit, you'll come back with less units, which is why I like Veldspar because it's very, very light and the price is pretty much consistent for the most part. And it's a high export commodity as well. So um, people that are building things in NullSec or in LowSec or wherever, they're not really concerned with things that are not TRIT coming out of high sec. TRIT's a big commodity for people who want to build stuff out in null space and things like that. So it's kind of just hedging my bets. It's a very safe thing to mine in terms of being able to turn it around. I don't want to hold on to a bunch of stuff that can't move. And having just a ton of Veldspar makes it very, very easy to get rid of that stuff. But... For the most part, I'm still kind of like figuring out what I want to do uh, in EVE. I thought about actually going back and, you know, messing around Null a little bit, maybe doing some, uh, maybe kind of waiting on some training on my main to do some more um, experiment stuff with fits and things. And for this series, uh, it's just kind of slow going. I mean, that's just kind of how it is. I mean, when you're at the mercy of training skills and just kind of grinding and getting resources up, because we're not giving ISK to this tune from any other tune. Everything that we're doing is essentially earned through gameplay and things. So it's kind of a waiting game. It's taking me a little bit longer than I wanted to, but also I haven't really been playing a, a whole lot in the past two weeks. But if I would just sit down and grind like a, you know like a normal player would, you know, for like several hours a day, I think we would have done it in a lot quicker time frame. But I think being you know, giving a good perspective on kind of like chill mining or whatever and seeing kind of like what the progression looked like is the goal for this series. But I'm thinking probably the next episode we do after this one is we're going to be getting the procurer and getting out there and doing some stuff at the Omega level. That's going to be the major goal. Right now we're almost full of Veldspar right now. About 3,300 of 5,000. And I'm not too far from Jita. I usually like, kind of hang out. When I'm doing just spells bar, I'd like to just hang out in Jita or near Jita. That way I can just kind of dump everything in the item hold there and not worry too much about it. But I figured I'd do a, an episode kind of giving you guys a progress update here. But for the most part, it's just, I mean, it's, <laughs> it's alpha venture mining, right? It's uh, once you get all the skills, and she's really actually skilled out really well. I'm actually kind of excited for her to go into Omega because she's gotten quite a bit of the stuff that we're going to need. Uh, Industry 5 is one of those things I was trying to use daily login skill points for. It's got about 19 hours left. So a lot of the prerequisites to going straight into the training for Mining Barge is been taken care of for the most part. Um, her drone stuff is nicely done. We got scanning skills on here, resource processing. So she's set up really, really well. I mean, 6.5 million. Once we actually get Omega turned on, we're going to just kind of shoot up and hopefully have a, a lot of good progress moving forward and start experimenting with different stuff in, in different areas as well. We're not always going to be doing this Veldspar stuff, but hopefully be able to take... I definitely want to take some um, like a prospect or an endurance out and uh, put a lot of miles on those ships because I think those are some of the big things that I'm kind of focusing down on doing more with. Plus the, the prospect is just great, right? Covert ops and, you know, SIG tanking. So I'm really excited for that and everything. But as you can see, I go down to like 32 frames when I'm like off the screen. Like that's when you see that, I'm not actually on focus. I need to see how I can actually adjust that, but... Pretty good. I'm excited about the uh, the new computer and all that. 
But thank you for watching, and look out for the next episode where we'll be really digging into the more Omega isk kind of thing. We're almost full here, so I will uh, see you in the next one. So, peace out.